please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Well, isn't this just fantastic? So throughout this year, it's been very quiet on the Illuminati front, since she suffered a truly magnificent fall from grace not so long ago, I guess a year and a bit, yes. Well deserved, I might add. She has essentially on her YouTube channel produced nothing. She has said nothing on social media. She is gone. Whether or not she'll stay gone or whether or not she'll try to come back, I don't really care to be honest. What I care about is what's going on concerning Wanda and Oz Media, because they've been involved in legal wranglings for quite some time. And after a lengthy gap of four months, we get one from Oz Media with some added information that explains why things have been quiet. So let's dive into that. Well, today I'm here to provide a much needed update. And honestly, I probably should have provided this previously, but there've been a lot of moving parts preventing me from doing so. And as a general note, the lawsuit, of course, is not over. Now, the last thing I remember about this was that offers were made to end this, which would lead me to believe then that those offers were not accepted or unnecessary delays were introduced. And so the offers were then rescinded because of those delays. Good graces, bad faith. I do wonder who's responsible for that. Now, if that is the case, then we waited four months for Illuminati to simply accept defeat here, take the L. Many, many times the legal case was amended, updated, reapplied, blah, blah, blah. Nonsense that no one really cares about because she had to shift the goalposts multiple times. When offers were then made to end this in a meaningful way, we're here four months later. I wonder how that's going to work out for her as well. Far from it, in fact. I mean, hell, we're not even out of the starting gate and won't begin discovery for another four or even six months, perhaps honestly longer. No offense to you, of course, I'm not going to take shots at you, Oz, but how on earth has this dragged out for as long as it has? Considering what we've seen exhausted so far, many of which I've covered, much of which I've covered in video form on this channel, I would find it hard to believe there are many more options left to explore for just, I don't know, having a Nerf war to settle it like adults. And this is with a year of back and forth legal battle. So you might be asking yourself right now, well, what's been going on with part two? If memory serves, part two is the follow up video we were meant to get to the last video, uh, which was quite comprehensive. I didn't actually think that we would require a part two because I thought perhaps Blair would be open to accepting the offers on the table at the end of that video. Apparently not. Here's a quick little timeline of everything that's kind of been going on in the past couple of months. Part 1 was released June 1st. Negotiations were attempted, even extended, from June 7th to June 14th, but ultimately failed. This is more than likely because Illuminati genuinely, Blair that is, believes that she's in the right, no one else can be in the right, but also because she needs to be in the right because she has no other money. If she's blowing it all on this to be proven right, even if she's wrong, it's a gamble. Whereas if you settle, no one really gets anything, do they? Yeah, there's no vindication. Although I will stand by what I've said, even if in a court Blair somehow manages to win, she'll never be able to come back to YouTube. So she would rely on a settlement to fund her life while she gets an alternative job if she hasn't already gotten one. With that in mind, do try to imagine my shock that these didn't work out, considering how reasonable they actually were in the first place. After they failed, my legal team began the production of my counterclaims. My counterclaims needed an additional extension of time as my legal team wanted to make sure as many of their I's and T's were dotted and crossed. Huh, you're suing. Oh, I like this. You did say you were going to do it. I'm glad you aren't doing it. Dear Oz, please win. Thank you. Now, I wanted Oz to counter sue anyway, not to drag this out, but because I believed if it was settled, Illuminati would never be held accountable for her own dumb, well, jackassery, her general jackassery, her stupidity, the smug mode in perpetuity that needs to be broken. This has to happen. And hopefully, Oz wins that as well. Not because I want to destroy or see Illuminati Blair destroyed in the slightest. No, because I want her to be humble. And apparently some people are incapable of this. Putting this into late July. 
We needed to add additional parties, pushing it further into August for any hope of a release. On top of this, my counterclaims now needed approval from the judge to add these additional parties to the counterclaims. Because I'm not a legal expert, and you're adding more to the whole situation, does that mean that Blair's team can appeal that? It wouldn't surprise me. It's just a query that's been gnawing at the back of my mind. Any excuse to inhibit one's ability to exercise their right to appeal, exercise their right to counterclaim. I, I am curious. The judge did not accept the counterclaims until around September 28th. Well, them judges do like to dawdle. You haven't indicated if you had to reapply it because of errors. Either that be because not necessarily pointed out, or because you guys actually did it right the first time, unlike the very person you're suing. Counter claiming against, sorry. I don't want to be done for uh, misspeaking or peddling false news. I wanted to ensure that my counterclaims were approved by the judge before speaking publicly on them, which led to the massive delay. I didn't want to be in a position to retract my counterclaims, especially with the sensitive subject matter included within them. Well, that answers my query then, I guess, doesn't it? I shouldn't have bothered with that bit. No, no, fair use. I will abide it. My finding this funny aside for a minute, because I do find this entertaining. Of course I do. But I'm also on Oz's side. I've seen enough. We all have. I've put it in video form. We've seen how much of a terrible person Illuminati truly is but she is ready and willing and able to go onto that hill and commit Sudoku on it, because apparently that is, in her mind, the best way of dealing with this. When she loses, I hope, when she loses, I'm curious to see how she reacts, because I can imagine the following word is going to become quite common. Appeal, 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 all the way to the last one, and then keep going if you can until there's nothing left for you to waste and fritter away. I also did not want to give Blair an expected release, as I was personally fearful of a gag order. After the judge accepted my counterclaims, and because we were already over a year into the lawsuit, both parties have mutually agreed to reattempt mediation. Oh, so the money is running out then. The dumb thing here is, you're over a year into it, four months ago, mediation was happening, and opportunities were off. Offers were made. You could have actually taken it, Blair, and walked away. You wouldn't have had to admit any guilt or be found guilty yourself, or risk having your own case dismissed, thrown out, or for ours to be simply found innocent in this of any wrongdoing. But no, all because of this NDA malarkey, eh? This is interesting. Many law YouTubers covered this, and they tend to agree, you're not winning this one, Blair. So why, why bother? <laughs> Well, they did back then. I don't know if they still agree now. And to be honest, many only paid attention to you because you're dunking on Legal Eagle, which was what caused all this in the first place. Well, caused. Straw, camel's back, broken, that thing. However, this time, it will be conducted by a third party, which has been scheduled for December 3rd. <laughs> I'm somewhat surprised that Blair would willingly secede power or control through mediation to another party, or that it got so clearly poisonous that a third party was required. This is disappointing and amusing, although it does mean, in December, if and when you are able to provide an update, there's a chance I'll make a video on it, because this is a fascinating subject. Just in case you, my lovely audience, hello, are unfamiliar with this, I have made a few videos on this channel concerning the YouTuber Illuminati. I'll link them all, and Oz Media's video back in December, and his um, part one down in the pinned comment, so you can check it all out, consume the information yourself, and come to your own conclusion, of course. The correct one, by the way, should be, I like chocolate. Not you, the audience, me. If you don't get that from the video, I'm not sorry, but now you know, good. There'll probably be no major updates until several days after mediation. I mean, and if mediation does fail, I will proceed with part two as planned. I don't want mediation to fail, of course not. But because I hope for the best and expect the worst, I keenly await part two. Again, you set out some reasonable ideas and lines as your um, settlement, right? Everyone just walk away, done. At this point, You'll all be able to do that, but there'll be nothing to give to each other if one is ordered to. And I don't want you, Oz, to give anything to Illuminati in the first place. As the judge has accepted my counterclaims, my hope would be this lawsuit can come to a close. Now, while it may not be the favored drama-filled outcome many were expecting, it is worth noting, at least in my opinion, that so far, by the time that mediation does occur, this lawsuit 
will have cost over $80,000, and we haven't even entered Discovery yet, so... So, Blair's remortgaged her home? Does she have a job on the side, working as a video editor for Mr. Beast? What, it is money coming in from some other avenue that isn't YouTube, because the tens of thousands she was once pulling in sure as feck are not coming in now? I doubt she's monetized anymore, because she hasn't uploaded recently, has she now? Oh, this is interesting now, isn't it? You know who I feel sorry for? Excluding Oz. I feel sorry for all the poor employees. Yeah, I've just realized they, they really got done dirty here. This very well could cost several more years of my life and hundreds of thousands of dollars down the line. And this is only speaking of me, and not Felix, who I have promised and continued to maintain support and funding of their legal battle against Blair as well. Currently, I have an opportunity to put an end to this, to no longer be required to rely off of the generosity of my audience and anyone who has supported me. Okay, I may have also forgotten about Felix as well. Now, before we continue with your video, because there's a little bit left to add, I want to quickly address a couple of your comments. Very important ones, I might add. The first one underneath you is, please don't stress about part two. This isn't drama anymore, it's A-B-U-S-E. And actually, there's a point to that. A very good one. Next comment. I hate how long everything takes. My partner is in the middle of the lawsuit, of a lawsuit, as well. It's been two years. Persevere, Oz. Godspeed. I agree with Vicarious Wrath, who wrote, While it may not be the favoured drama-filled outcome many were expecting as a quote, we're just glad to hear that it might be going towards finally ending. Fingers crossed that you can finally take back your life. This is a sentiment I can fully support, endorse, 100% because I do not believe that the outcome of this being stretched out over a number of years is beneficial to anyone, and would then at that point only exist solely so Blair can continue to control Oz and Felix's lives, with fear, believing that perhaps through attrition she can bully them into quitting. I don't think that's going to happen in this case though, Blair. If you're listening, I doubt. But if you are, you need to stop this. You need to, because you are now in the wrong. But I do understand that when it comes to the US, lawsuits are a bit of a pastime, a favoured one, an American tradition. And if you can stretch it out, prolong it, waste money into predatory systems, you will do it, because that's in your nature. No offence to those who are American. At the moment, we're having a rather interesting time where on November 5th, we in the UK burn effigies of a guy trying to detonate Parliament, with many of us now no longer burning the effigy because we realised Guy Fawkes was right. And on November 5th, you're going to be wishing you had your own Guy Fawkes. I would also like to take this opportunity to rid my life of Blair, to move my channel back to its previous goofy content, and to, more importantly, move on from my ex whose legal charge has infested my day-to-day -day life, and focus on a future with my partner where we can both move forward and heal. I would, of course, also like to once again thank everyone who has been supporting me through streams, the GoFundMe, my second channel, as well as the variety of kind words that have been provided to my partner and I. And in the meantime, this channel will be returning to its regular content up until mediation. Well, a small victory there, I guess. You're able to do what you enjoy doing, which is vitally important for you in this recovery stage, up until mediation, that is. But it's also vitally important you get back some sense of normality. I'm intrigued by the fact that you are countersuing, and that may well be now why these mediations are happening, because the cards are stacking against Blair. You've now shown a hand, and the hand says, eh, besh, Roll flush. You only have three. Get wrecked. It should be interesting to see how this unfolds, of course. And no, not as drama, but because I want to see this ended. Ideally, with Blair making a resounding return to YouTube as the quintessential and only trailblazing anti-M whatever content creator she was before. If the sarcasm signs on the screen, it's because I know some of you didn't get it. It's quite alright. 